Okay, y'all, y'all have to get a um, a little bit of what it looks like to do my face for work. I was running late today, so I'm going to do it right here at the desk real quick, which technically is not really all that no normal, out of the ordinary for me. Um, so I've already primed it, and I'm getting ready to draw my eyebrows on, so you guys just bear with me. I don't have my contacts in, so we're just going to go. Mm. It's just a little something, something like an everyday type of thing. And it is in dark brown. Okay. So some of this stuff is going to be lime green stuff and some of it is not. It's just how you got to roll with it. Okay. Makeup Revolution Salvation Palette. I've been having it a little bit. So when well, I was doing something quick, I just get on in there and get in that socket up in that corner. I try to get right in that eye socket. No, it does not hurt. Calm down. I would not be self afflicting pain. Okay. Mm. And I'm using this one. I'm going to try not to blind y'all. Sorry. I'm using this one. And I just follow that natural paradise of that curvature of the eye socket there. I guess right on up in there, Jack. Uh -uh. Like I said, this is a work look. You ain't going out. This is a work look. Fall time work look. Nothing too fancy, but you ain't trying to look tired. I will tell you, I did not bring any lashes, so I'm just going to have to play it up with the eyeliner. Mm -hmm. I'm recording. 
I'm going to go fax this so we get our order. Okay. Okay. You know what? I need to bring my makeup one day and have to do it. You should bring it tomorrow. You'll be here? I'll be here tomorrow. All right. Okay, girl. You should bring me a pair of lashes. Okay. I'm going to the beauty supply today. I'll do it. Okay, so that's good because then you guys can see me do somebody else's makeup in a different hue. She's uh, Caucasian, so her skin is going to be lighter, and we're going to play with that. And we'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> I'll come a little early so we won't get ourselves what in trouble. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what I said I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to play it off with the eyeliner. Because I usually would wear lashes. And I wear lashes almost every day. But y'all, this little lash, lash uh, line or whatever you call it. Child, that sucker is irritated a little bit. I think the glue, because I did change up the glue. I usually use Kiss, but my Kiss ran out. And so I had some, child, I think I threw it away. It was called Star or something, girl. I don't know. Anyway, it was not kiss, and it, like, irritated me a little bit. So I stopped wearing my lashes for a day or two to just heal it because uh, ain't nobody got time for that. So, yeah, so I'm just going to play it out. It's almost like what people would have done in the 90s. I used to wear makeup in the 90s as well, and I know I didn't wear lashes. Lashes was not a thing uh, back then as often. You, it, people would wear lashes, like, when they went somewhere. Kind of like how press-on nails was in the 80s, if people... If I got anybody that was raised up in the 80s, you probably had like Amy, sister, cousin, mama, Amy, brother, whoever. Oh, no, maybe not brother. You know what? I don't know your business. Maybe. Uh, but somebody, uncle, somebody would wear lashes when they would go somewhere to pop it out. So, yeah. Y'all ain't got to do it all the time. But it is nice to, to have one. So you could be cute when you're trying to do a little extra. Okay. So this is the look so far. It's not really. Um, but again, this is just your everyday, I'm at the job look. Okay. All right. um, so I'm kind of like done. I could put my mascara on last. I'm not going to do an under eye look because it is daytime. It's dull. It's a little dim in here so I didn't want to do too heavy on top of that it's kind of good for me to do it here because the lighting is exactly what my face is going to be under all day long right and don't worry about my grace because they ain't worried about y'all I'm just gonna cover them up with the headband I just pulled it back so that I could do my makeup okay now um and no I don't plan on dying them that's a conversation for another day okay all right so then I'm going to Go ahead and just put a little foundation on. I'm using NARS. No, they ain't paid me. <laughs> but I like it. It's about $35. Uh, the color I'm using is Katie's. I guess that's what it's called. C-A-D-I-Z. Um, and if you don't have two, three different colors at, in your house, it don't matter your uh, nationality, then you're really doing yourself a disservice because you are not the same color year-round. Unless you are. Okay. Um, I know I'm not. So let me just focus on what I got and don't get it. And I'm just using a brush. Um, I used to use the sponges, but I really like how to brush. Get on up in there and you ain't uh, stressed out about it. It just gets on up in there. You know, it just gets on up in there. All up under here. I like to use it under here. And no, I haven't cleaned them today, but I'm the only one using these sponges so I'll wash them out tonight um, and then that way I have them ready for the weekend I used to have more brushes and I would have some for work and then I have some for uh, when I get home and all this that and the third but I ended up tossing quite a few um, brushes because the bristles after washing it even with like brush wash they got extremely hard and I don't know about y'all but I don't enjoy hard brushes rubbing across my face I mean it's my face I wouldn't want that hell I don't even really like coarse brushes on my hair right anyway um 
I'm trying to get back with y'all. I'm trying to keep y'all in the loop of what's going on. And yes, I have lost weight. I don't know if anybody could tell about just by my face, but it's still your girl. It's beauty. Love. All right. So, yeah. Um, I always do this part right here. I do this in a circle. Throw that brush in a circle. Throw that brush in a circle. I don't know if anybody else do it like that, but I do that. And it seemed to really work with my shine. Let me get all up under here. So, just something quick. Nothing too extreme. And I gotta. Okay. Y'all gonna just have to bear with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then I just use a little pack. And I, I don't have any Mac right now, but I have my backup, which I feel like it is really nice. And I'm not trying to, whatever. But. That is called Absolute New York. And a friend of mine who works at a beauty supply, she's a beautician. And then she does lashes, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know how it is at the beauty supply? Well, people be doing everything here and all. But anyway, um, she was telling me that um, when I'm on a budget to use this Absolute New York HD Flawless, and it's in a black little case. And it is it's a nice creamy. I'm going to do it up right like this. It's a nice creamy uh, coverage. Um, yeah. And I need I need to do a lot. I need to go and get some more brushes. I need to go and get some more sponges. I need everything. And before anybody say, oh, your, your sponge is dirty. Uh, I'm brown. My sponge is the color of my skin. I'm a good uh, warm chestnut. So my sponge is not dirty. It's the same color of my skin. Okay, then. Now that you got that cleared out, get it out your mind. Okay, so then, uh, and I need another one of these. And honestly, I'm holding on to this sponge because, baby, I go to the store and ain't nobody got it. Baby, uh-uh. I need this kind of sponge. I don't like those red ones. Those red ones hold enough to take every drop of moisture the Lord gave me and take it right out. And I just ain't signed up for that today. I ain't signed up to have dry skin. These are things I didn't sign up for. Okay. Um, all right. And that's pretty much the look. That's pretty much the look. It's almost kind of like a no makeup makeup type of thing. Anyway, okay. So then I use the falsies. By who is this? Maybelline. Shout, I guess I'm worth it. Okay. So then I use a little mascara. So I put it on with the, I put, okay, back up. So I put my powder on with the brush first. And then I go, I mean, I'm sorry, with the sponge first. And then I go back with a brush and like pat it in more. So, I, but I let this one sit first. And actually, I need to spray it. I'm going to do that after I put my mascara on first. So then. Because mm -hmm. I don't be wanting it to just be sitting on top of my skin. You know what I'm saying? Separating. No, we are not separating. No, ma'am. No, sir. I me, mean, you us never part. Mm -hmm. You don't got to excuse my background. I listen to it. It's up to you. Is something on TV? I don't know. I'm at work. Okay. Um, and then I do use a ball nighter. Now, this is my holy grail. And when I'm out and about and it's like hot outside or, um, you know, it's either hot or it's like humid, I, I do this like three layers. I'll put it on, then I'll put my, um, my, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, primer and I like to use Angel Veil by New York uh, in, I'm sorry, in my ex and then when I'm feeling dry I like to use the uh, Never Touch Up by uh, Ruby Kiss so those are my two but this is my holy grail I spray the, I put the primer let it sit, spray then I'll put my foundation spray put my powder, first layer 
spray just in the spots, let that sit, and then I put, I use the brush and like pat it in. I might take the brush, and it's a flat head brush, I might take the brush and just kind of like pat it in the powder a little bit and then do my face. And it just lasts. Okay. I'm going to fan it now. You don't want to be looking crazy. Mm -hmm. Get my chin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all. Yeah.